Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? I'm I. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please think about subscribing. Today is actually gonna be my first video about fashion. I'm very, very excited about that. I've been meaning to come out with this video for a long time now, but I just didn't know how I was gonna structure it, but now it's finally here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about four old school fashion trends that we should bring back today or we should just leave in the past. Without further ado, let's get it in. Number one is baggy clothes. Now, we all remember this era early 2000s, I mean in the 90s and you know late 80s, you know people were wearing baggy stuff but it wasn't until the 2000s man, everything was baggy. I remember going to the mall and literally like baggy clothes were in style. I'll never forget one day I was in elementary school and my homegirl Alicia from the Philippines, shout out to everybody in the Philippines, basically she looked at me and she was like, Isaac, you look like a clown. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, I look like a clown. Like, and I was like, damn, that's tough. When you're wearing baggy ass clothes like that, like you look like one of Soulja Boy's backup dancers, man. That's how crazy you look. But back then, man, that was what was in style. And I look back sometimes and I'm like, oh, I cannot believe it. The thing with baggy clothes, especially like baggy pants, is like sometimes when you roll them up and you try to cuff them, they look kind of funny. And sometimes if you don't cuff them, and they rub up against the ground, it can make your pants dirty and like rip them up and all that stupid stuff. I'm happy that clothes got a little thinner because the baggy stuff, looking back at it now, man, it's, it's funny, man, and it's crazy how dumb we used to look. So when it comes to baggy clothes, we're gonna leave this in the past. All of these right here is my opinion. If you disagree with me, get in the comment box, let me know how you feeling. But this is my opinion right here, and that's how I'm looking at it, and we're leaving baggy clothes in the past. Number two is hoop earrings, men wearing hoop earrings. Now whenever I think about those mini hoop earrings, like you always gotta think about Michael Jordan. He was like the first cat I ever saw rocking the hoop earrings and it looked good on him. He used to rock it in one ear. As a kid, you would hear a lot of people say stupid stuff like, if you get this ear pierced, that means you're gay. Or if you get this ear pierced, that means you're gay. Like a bunch of stupid stuff that had nothing to do with anything. It was just a bunch of nonsense. I never really rocked with the hoop earrings like the way Jordan used to rock with them. I know certain people in my personal life that rock them and it looks good on them. But in this era of people still continually dressing weird, it definitely has a place. You have a bunch of people that take it to the extreme. They may not really be rocking hoop earrings for girls, but they take it to the extreme, man. But um, we're definitely gonna keep the hoop earrings. They don't gotta go with their stain. Number three, the Air Force Ones, the Nike Air Force Ones. Now, the Nike Air Force Ones, for those of you guys who don't know, is my favorite shoe ever. Growing up, this was the shoe that you wanted, you know what I'm saying? If you consider yourself a sneakerhead, the Nike Air Force Ones, they are a must. You gotta have them with you. Nike created the Air Force One as a basketball shoe. I actually like used to just rock them for comfort, for style. It always felt like the Nike Air Force Ones fit better back then than they do now. Now your foot kind of has to break in it. It takes a little while for your foot to get used to it. I remember back in like 2012, 2013, I remember the people would talk about, hey man, what are your favorite shoes? And I would say the Air Force Ones and they would be like, man, nobody rocks Air Forces no more. And I was like, what? Like those shoes are so legendary. Like you can rock them in every era. For me personally, I don't let a celebrity or somebody with money influence what I want to wear. If I just don't rock with something because I don't rock with it, it's because I don't want to wear it. It's not because my favorite athlete, my favorite rapper, or my favorite, you know, anything is not rocking with it anymore. You know what I'm trying to say? If you don't want to rock with something, let it be because of you, not anyone else. So when it comes to the Air Force Ones, we are keeping it. It's not going nowhere, ever. At number four, we have the vintage windbreakers. Like, when it comes to the vintage windbreakers, I love the feeling I get when I got it on. I feel like I stepped in a hot tub time machine and I'm in the 80s again, even though I was born in 95. In case you guys haven't noticed, the 80s, the 90s, early 2000s, like I love that time period so much. I just feel like besides technology, like if the 90s, late 80s had like the technology that we have today, it would have been like the greatest time in the world. But when it comes to the windbreakers, like today, it's kind of been replaced with the tech fleeces. Everybody got on the fleeces, but me personally, how I like to dress, I love that vintage look. I love that old school look, I just love that. Every major brand has old school windbreakers that you can rock. And like for example, if I was to rock with a Nike windbreaker, right? The pants that I would rock with them, if I'm trying to match, I would still go with a Nike, even if it's a different color. I just like to have that brand loyalty. Just like when you're going to go play basketball or something, 
you rock in maybe some Jordans, the Nike socks. Yeah, Jordan is under Nike, but it still just looks kind of weird. That's just a little pet peeve thing for me. So when it comes to the vintage windbreakers, they definitely have a place in today's fashion game. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Fashion is something that I'm really into. I have many loves on this channel when I try to display that. I love hip hop, I love fashion, I love sneakers. I want to keep my body right with my health. This is my first fashion video. It's just gonna keep getting better. I'm trying to learn from you guys, and I want you guys to learn from me. See things from my perspective, and me see things from your perspective. Once again, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, get in the comment box, and most importantly, do not forget to hit that sub button. Follow me on Instagram at I'm Hurricane Isaac 95. I'm out.